Hello everyone, welcome back to Force Galaxy. Finally, after so long, I am back to the Force Galaxy videos. So, uh, as you all know, last year I started so many things and yes, really got a bit busy in setting up all those things and finally we are on some level that now I can focus back on this channel that is the Force Galaxy. So again, thank you so much for all of your love and support. And my name is Kanika Chauhan. I am Salesforce consultant and developer and your go-to guide for all the things related to Salesforce. So we will going to continue with so many things. I have so many new things which I experienced in this journey for the, the things which I started last year. Okay, so when I, as time goes on, I'm going to share all those things related to the startup projects, trainings, uh, consulting clients, everything I will going to share with you. Okay, but let's focus on the series, which I will going to continue now that you all are waiting for it. That is the most popular thing which we do always is the interview related scenarios. Okay. So first we're going to start with admin development, then other clouds like related to the CPQ marketing, we will going to discuss. Okay. So welcome back again to the Force Galaxy and today we will going to discuss the so interview scenarios related to the Salesforce admin. So two, three, four, five videos I will going to share related to this. Then we'll pick up the next topic and we'll go on. And then finally, we will come to the things which you all want to hear from me. That is the clients consulting trainings and all. Okay. start with the very first scenario and the scenario is here when an opportunity stage is equals to close one or to populate a custom field employer the custom field can be of any name like implementation start date or the start date value with today's date but only the condition is if that field is blank then only you need to update so, okay so let me tell you the requirement again on an opportunity Whenever the stage is closed on, you need to update a custom field with today's date. Okay, uh, like suppose today is closed on opportunity. So like today's opportunity got closed on. So whatever the date is today, you need to update the same in this custom field. Only the condition is if this is blank. Okay, if this field is already having any value, maybe manually someone has entered the value or maybe through some other automation this got updated. So at that time, you will not going to update if it is blank, no value is yet updated to this custom field, then only we will going to populate. So any idea? I know most of you are on the correct path and the thing which you will going to choose here is the uh, flow. Okay, so you will going to create a flow here in which whenever the record is updated and if the stage is the condition will be stage is equals to close one not every time whenever the record got updated only if the stage got changed to close one we will going to run our flow and in that custom field we will going to update this value that is the today's date but before this we will also going to make a decision that is you will going to use a decision element where you will going to check whether this field already contains a value or not if it's null then only we will going to update with the today's date hope this is clear let me know for any issues or any confusion the flow will be record trigger flow now the next question comes here is when a case has three or more related tasks with status is equals to completed mark case status as in progress okay so here case is there and to related it we are having the task so whenever it is going to have the three or more related tasks you need to update the status of your case so how you will going to do 
So very first thing comes here is you need to update a value on a case that is a status you need to update to in progress plus you need the related total count of the task also based on that only you will going to update this case record. So again, again you will going to use a record uh, flow here. So whenever the task is created and it's related case, you will going to check if this case record is having three or more than three related tasks, then I will going to update the status of this case. So whenever your task record is created and or if the task record is updated to the completed, if its status is marked as completed, then you will going to run your flow or the automation which you will going to use. And then to that case, you will going to check how many total related data or the task it is having. Now to count the related things, you have two options. Either you can use a field to store the total number of related records and directly catch the value from there if it is three or more than three. Or at the time of running your automation itself, you can make a decision there that what is the total size of the related records and then compare there itself. So I think within the automation itself, it's better to calculate instead of creating an extra unnecessarily fill to store the value because that is of no use from the UI purpose. We will always going to hide this from the UI because that is of no use. But yeah, if the client wants, it should be visible on the page layout, then obviously we will going to go with this fill creation only. But if it is not needed, only based on, uh, on the backend, do the calculation and update the status of the case record then within your flow itself or in any automation like trigger whatever you will going to use they itself calculate the size if it is greater than three then go for this okay let's come to the next scenario when a new account is created auto create a default welcome task assigned to the account owner okay so again this is related to the task and yes the solution will be the best you can go with the flow always okay because this is just a small thing which we need to perform whenever the account record is created i need to create its related task with the subject as welcome in this case what you need to take care of is you need an id of this account so that you can relate the task to it so i will going to take help of a record after save okay once the record is saved now i will going to run my flow so i can have the id and can able to create the record now create record element you can use in your flow and achieve this requirement so now the next question comes here is only system admin should be able to edit the field field name is something like discount percentage on opportunity so on opportunity there is a field known as discount uh, percentage and the condition is only the admin the users with system admin profile can able to edit this field. So what you will going to do in this case. So again, you have two options here. You can take help of the profiles and the field level securities. Next, you can take help of validation rule also here. Validation rules is what it is editable to all. But if someone other than system admin profile try to edit this field, Okay, uh, he wants to change the value of this field and the profile does not belongs to the system admin, then I can throw an error at the same time using the validation rule. So what will be your validation rule? If this particular field is changed and the profile is not equals to system admin, then I will going to throw an error or the validation uh, I will going to run here. Okay, or uh, again, other than this, you can take help of the profiles from the profile itself on the field level security, you can remove the excess of read because for admin it always will be uh, having all view all and the modify all access but for the other then the system admin profiles you can set it as read only so others cannot able to edit it okay so completely depends upon the client exact requirement what solution you want to provide him you can tell the results of both the solutions in this case it always be readable no one can edit but in that validation case it can be editable but when he try to save it he will not be able to save the record okay now the question comes here is how do you handle the data updates in salesforce so again in the salesforce itself we are having data import wizard which you can use now other than this we have data loader.io i think up to twenty thousand records only you can able to manage with this data loader.io but the best is here data loader okay so this is the tool which you need to install in your desktop you need to do the setup and finally with the help of the api that is already in build okay you need not to do anything there 
with the help of this data loader you can do whatever you want to perform insert update delete of any number of records in salesforce okay so the best is again data loader here so these are the few scenarios related to the salesforce admin so if you are a fresher or you are an experienced person for all it will going to help you out i'll more focused on the scenarios to share with you because the theoretical part you can uh, anyone can uh, gather from any of the social site okay but the scenarios are not more available on the social network so it's better so that is why i used to focus the scenario based and i know this is only the reason most of you follow me because here you used to get the number of scenarios and you can able to calculate what where you stand as per your knowledge so thank you so much i'll come back in with a few more scenarios related to salesforce admin in the next video and if you have any queries any questions you want me to answer please don't hesitate share or drop down in a comment section i'll surely going to share the solution as i always used to do